Hello, Lieutenant Kayla Detmer here from Star Trek Discovery, here to ask you to join in with Commodore Ty to discover the world of pop culture. The adventure has begun. Incoming message from Commodore Ty. Hello, Commodore Ty here. With me is none other than Fleet Captain Brandon. Attention to orders! What's going on? It's going good. Uh, Today we'll be looking at something that all us Canadians love, hockey. And right now we're reviewing the Disney show, The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. This will be episode one, Game On. So... We begin our story with, of course, the new season of Hockey with the Mighty Ducks. How do you like the start of that, Brandon? It was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's a different show. I'll give you that from the movies. If you've seen the movies, it's a lot different than what you think it's going to be. But uh, enjoy. Yeah, because we see a boy getting ready to start his new season. But this time they're in the 12 to 14 range instead of the 9 to 11. And of course, his mother is held up at work. In the car, actually. Well, I'm on the way to the in the parking lot. I can't lie to you. I haven't left yet, but I'll be right there. Uh, yep. It's always great when the person that actually does all the work is the one that has to stay late because, oh, heaven forbids, anyone else does their job. Right. <laughs> we both know how that feels. Don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then it gets to a point where I'm like, really? I get to that really point. The, uh, it sounds like the coach is like, no fun, just play a game, we must win. They're moving up to the 12 to 14 age bracket. It's going to make 9 to 11 seem like kid stuff, and this roster's not yet set. So, who wants it? Oh boy. Yeah, it's not your 90s Mighty Ducks. That's for sure, but I understand that. You play to win the game! I see the Mighty Ducks now as something that they hated in the movies. Oh, for sure. But it's like the coach is the complete ass. It's like, you must win. You must win. I'm like, yeah, but you can also have fun at it as well. Don't forget one of the biggest quotes of the movie from the very, very first one to the team where I think that they are now. They are now the Hawks of the movies. Mm, Interesting. And then and he and he's got that coach O'Reilly. You, it's not worth winning if you can't win big. Attitude. Uh, yeah, the kid shows up late, and his mom's Alex is getting into it with the other mom because oh heaven forbids they had cheese puffs for a snack once. Should we get some protein this year, people? I mean, we don't want a replay of that cheese puff incident. It was a one time, and I was running later. Snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're talking about stuff about a 12-year getting a college coach, uh, studying tape. Yes, I understand. There are athletes that have taken it serious back at this age. Look at people like probably Sidney Crosby and Connor McDavid, Austin I Matthews. Can, uh, I can tell you a story right now. My cousins, they live they live in Brantford, and they're older. When they were young, they played hockey, like, you know, as most kids do. They played with Wayne Gretzky. Wow. He had, he had NHL scouts in the crowd at eight years old. But I would understand if this was an actual league. Yeah. But from the sound of it, it's just a house league. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, it, it's kind of a house league. It's more like reps. Like, if you've ever seen people walking around with, like, Hamilton Huskies stuff on, that's a rep. That's reps. That's, like, where you go to become 
in the OHL or even get like drafted to the OHL. I will have to admit though, yeah, those those jerseys and that logo are pretty clean looking. Like the, oh, yeah. that's nice. Looks, looks nice. Very nice. So nice that I've even looked on Amazon and Google to see if I can buy one. So Evan ends up getting cut from the team because his skill set isn't as good as, as the other players. Well, but I won't be on the ducks. I gotta cut you. Okay, you work hard. You're good, but you're not good enough. And um, they're done that. I was the goalie. I got cut. Yeah. Well, I didn't get cut. I was technically better than the starter, but they put me as they put me two. Uh, so I quit because that's what reps is. It's it's like you got to be the best of the best just to get on a team. Okay. <sighs> so he gets cut, and his mom has a fit. You know, I never bought into any of this craziness. I just did it because my kid loves hockey, but I guess that doesn't matter now. So let me lay a couple of truths on you guys. This scene is nuts. And you can see it from both uh, perspectives. Like, she's talking about, let these kids have some fun. They're only 12 years old, where the coach is like, we got to win no matter what the cost. Screw mm-hmm. having heart and fun. It's like, if you don't have the heart for the game, you will never succeed. Exactly. And you know what? There, there is coaches out there that are like that, too, even, that, even in, like, a rep. Ask any of them. They will say that they have a passion to play. Yeah. And they if have they were, their drive. If they were bored with the game, they would have left it. So you need a balance between the two, I feel. Like the original Mighty Ducks. Being disheartened, he goes home and he's kind of bummed out. So his mother decides, let's make our own team. Let's start our own team. A whole group of don't bothers. Nick, come in here. Look at this. Your first teammate. Teammate. I don't know what to say. Yes. And her first player that she picks is the podcaster. The next door neighbor kid. That kid is funny. They're gonna work this out somehow. So Alex looks uh looks for uh many ice different ice rinks to host the team and stumbles across the ice palace. <laughs> and of course it's operated by none other than Gordon Bombay. He doesn't like kids and he hates hockey. Here's the long and the short of it. I hate hockey and I don't like kids. Um, okay, okay. So you hate hockey, you don't like hockey anymore. You hate kids, yet you own a nice rink where, oh, what happens at a nice rink? You play hockey and you have kids there. Not the best way to stay away from that stuff if you don't like it. You know, you know what's funny? That whole quote where it's... uh hate hockey and don't like kids is actually a quote from his from the very first movie. Yeah. Now here's the long and the short of it. I hate hockey and I don't like kids. Oh, wow. So it's like his character progression is restarted. In a sense, yeah. Except he's not the drunk lawyer. He owns a, he owns a nice rink now. So he's trying to stay away from it. He initially refuses Alex, but um, after some pleading from Alex... It wasn't too much pleading, man. It was money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so after some pleading and a good chunk of money, he lets them use the arena. How much are we talking? Uh, you know, I think we might be able to find some wiggle room on the no hockey thing. Evan and Nick finally managed to recruit a team because as soon as he got cut, it's like he was instantly shunned by everyone. Unfor- unfortunately, at some levels of sports, that's how it is. I understand cutting those people out of your life, but on the other hand, it's like you still need to build those bonds with people. Yeah, because <laughs> when it comes down to it, they're still people. They're still your friend at the end. 
And that's unfortunately that's the way people see some things, you know. He gets cut, he's trash. And there's even parents out there that look think the same thing. Yeah, especially the one parent. It is so great you're trying to form a new team for Advent. You're so scrappy. Oh, you know she's going to be a huge bitch in the series. Oh, I know. <laughs> in one episode, you can already tell who's going to be the ass, who's going to be the bitch, and who's going to be the good one. There are some kids that join them, and they become the hockey team. We see a little bit of Alex skating around and stuff, and she's named the coach. Okay, someone that has no experience. Okay, I understand. No problem with that. And they call their team... The don't bothers. The name for your team. The don't bothers. You sure that's the name you want to go with? Yeah. Best name um, in hockey. Couldn't they have come up with something better? I mean, Mighty Ducks is already taken, right? So yeah, I'm just surprised that they're Disney's doing this again. So this is how the series starts with them just looking like a bunch of misfits with all the other teams still wearing their proper jerseys and everything. Kind well, of I mean, like... I mean, if you go back to the original movie, that's what they were, right? They never had jerseys. It was just a San Jose Sharks sweater with D5 written on it. So I wonder if they're actually going to come up with an actual jersey or if it's just going to be them wearing street clothes while playing. I don't know. We'll have to tune in and find out, I guess. Yep. So thank you for dropping by. No problem. And thank you for, for having me. Yeah, no problem. And for your Commodore and for the fleet captain here, live long and prosper. The hailing frequencies are closed. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my many other videos, and if you like what you see, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal. So for Commodore Tribe, live long and prosper all, and for now, until next time, the hail and frequencies are closed.